All right, NFL Week 6, I've got four free winners for you on the Power 5, at least in NFL. We're going to start on the other side of the pond, but not with that hideous Patriots-Jaguars matchup. No, no, no. Rather, in the English Premier League, a little soccer, and this is a 3% client play. Under 3.5, Chelsea-Liverpool. I do not understand why this total is so high. All seven of Liverpool's Premier League matches this season have stayed under this number. They've conceded only two goals all season. 27 of the last 31 times Chelsea and Liverpool have met. Under three and a half would have cashed. Chelsea has played two high-scoring matches this season, but the other five have all seen three or few, three or fewer total goals scored. Pardon me. Let's not overthink it here. Under three and a half to get Sunday started on the other side of the pond. That is 11.30 a.m. Eastern. Just in case you're unaware, I am number one in soccer at Wager Talk going back to April up 43.8 units. Now we move to the NFL. Of course, I am also number one in football this season, hitting a combined 68% in NFL plus college. Let me know what you think of these selections down in the comments section below. And don't be afraid to smash that like button if you agree. We're going to start with Bengals Browns under 41 and a half. Browns offense is getting back, running back Nick Chubb, but they've yet to put up 300 total yards or more than 20 points in any game this season. Just traded away top wide receiver Amari Cooper, but that does not mean I don't fancy the home team's chances in this AFC North matchup. In the Bengals' last three visits to Cleveland, they have scored a grand total of 32 points. 0-6 straight up their last six visits here. One positive, though, for Cincinnati. They are coming off their best defensive effort in quite some time, holding the Giants to just seven points last week. This should be a classic, close, hard-fought, low-scoring AFC North game. Another total for you, and it's another under in a division game, under 43 in Eagles-Giants. Just uh, wanted to try and pull the trigger here on the G-Men, but couldn't do it. As I mentioned just a minute ago, Giants only managed seven points against the Bengals last week. Yes, rookie wide receiver Malik Neighbors will be back, but still really cannot trust Daniel Jones, especially against an improved Eagles defense that did not allow a touchdown last week against the Browns. Second time in three games that Philly allowed 16 points or less. Giants are last in the NFC, averaging just 16 points per game. But can I, I can trust the Giants' defense, which has allowed 21 points or fewer in five consecutive contests. They do an excellent job at getting to the quarterback, league-leading 26 sacks. Yes, Eagles running back Saquon Barkley should be fired up to face his former team. But this is a situation where I don't think the winner scores more than 21 points, so under 43 it is there in Eagles' G-men. How about a side in the 1 p.m. Eastern kickoffs? Take the Packers. Money line at home versus the Texans. Should be around minus 150. It's a little juicy for sure, I know, but I'd rather lay the juice than the field goal. Houston has been very lucky this year. They're 5-1 and one straight up, but have a year-to-date point differential of just plus 8. Last week's win over the Patriots, first time the Texans won by more than 6 points all season. My view, they're due to drop a close game. Hence, the money line approach here with the Packers. Houston has injuries on both sides of the ball coming into this game. Of course, no Nico Collins on offense. He was the NFL's leading receiver at the time he got hurt. Let's also not overlook the fact the Packers are number one in the league in turnover differential right now, plus nine. Quarterback Jordan Love coming off a four-touchdown performance last week against the Cardinals. Love, who has the second-highest passer re- rating in the league when using play action, should feast on a Texans defense that has the third-highest passer rating, uh, the third-worst passer rating, I should say, against play action. By the way, NFC North teams are incredible. 16-4 and four straight up so far in non-division games, so it's Packers money line for me there. Let's now jump down to Sunday Night Football. Thought the, pub- the publicity stunt with Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams on the Pat McAfee show was, uh, well, it was a little douchey, for lack of a better term, but the Jets are beating the Steelers this week. Pittsburgh is turning to Russell Wilson at quarterback, which I think is a mistake. Uh, again, I don't know why you do lunges on a plane, reportedly. Uh, Russell's a weird guy, and... I don't think he's going to do very well here. Uh, defense has not been the issue for the Jets this season, no matter who the coach is. So I expect Wilson to be very bad in his season debut. Fifth different starting O-line combination for the Steelers this week. Now, I do worry about Aaron Rodgers going against the Steelers defense, but I don't think it's going to take many points for the Jets to win this must-win game. Adams, he'll make a key play or two. By the way, the under is on a 32-10 and run on Sunday Night Football, including a perfect 6-0 this season. But I like the side. I think the Jets score enough to get the W. I'd play a money line just like the Packers. All right, let's now recap the Power 5, shall we, for Sunday. Number one, under 3.5, Chelsea-Liverpool. 
Number two, Browns Bengals under 41 and a half. Number three, Eagles Giants under 43. Number four, Packers money line against the Texans. Number five, Jets money line against the Steelers. Again, go ahead. Let me know what you think of those selections down below. Don't be shy about dropping your favorite best uh, for NFL on Sunday. Always enjoy reading those. Of course, for my best bets, you know where to go. WT.buzz slash BP. It's been a tough week. All right, there's no sugarcoating that one bit. Uh, on the show with client picks, college football's been great. It continues to be great. We headed into Saturday with uh, on a 10-0 college football run, but baseball and the NFL obviously are not going in the direction we want. We turn it around Sunday. I still have the number one football record this season at Wage Talk. 68% in NFL and college combined, up 48.1 units of profit. You can get my 4% NFL game of the week in the NFL and any other releases for Sunday right now for only $29. That's going to do it for Sunday's edition of the Power 5. I really hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you do, go ahead, smash that like button. Until next time, let's cash some tickets.